Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two cases of fibroid uterus. The first case shows a single large fibroid, while the second case will show multiple small fibroids. You can see a large fibroid in the distal and middle portion of the uterus. Looks to be pedunculated fibroid. It is round to oval in shape and has slightly heterogeneous ecogenicity. This is uterus, this is cervix, and this is the uterine mass fibroid. Many fibroids contain changes in genes that differ from those in normal uterine muscle cells. Estrogen and progesterone, two hormones that stimulate development of uterine lining during each menstrual cycle in preparation for pregnancy appears to promote the growth of fibroids. Fibroids contain more estrogen and progesterone receptors than normal uterine muscle cells do. A significant blood flow is seen in the rim region of this large fibroid. Uterine fibroids most often appear on ultrasonograph as concentric solid hypoechoic masses. This appearance results from the prevailing muscle which is observed in histological examination. These solid masses absorb sound waves and therefore cause a variable amount of accosting shadowing. Now you can again see the large uterine fibroid and blood flow. Only a small amount of blood flow is seen in the rim region. Uterine fibroids are non-cancerous growths of uterus that often appear during childbearing age years. Fibroids range in size from seedlings undetectable by human eye to bulky masses that can distort and enlarge the uterus. Fibroid may be single or multiple ones. Uterine fibroids are generally harmless and often go away on their own. When symptoms occur, however, untreated fibroids can interfere with the person's quality of life and may lead to complications such as anemia due to heavy menstrual periods. You can see the fibroid measures about 6.8 cm into 6.6 .6 cm. Now you are going to see the other case. And in this case, multiple small fibroids are seen along the posterior wall of the uterus. and a mass is also seen in the interior wall. Homogeneous hyperechogenic masses in the uterine cavity on ultrasound are hardly suggestive of endometrial polyps, but the myometrial echogenicity of uterine fibroids may vary and hyperechogenic isoechogenic or hyperechogenic or mixed with which depends on the size and nature of the fibroids. Now you can see the multiple small masses in the middle and distal portion of the uterus. You can see multiple fibroids along the posterior wall. However, a fibroid is also seen along, this one is along the interior wall of the uterus. Now in this case, you can see the fibroids are round to oval in shape, semi-solid to solid in consistency.
Fibroids are abnormal growths that develop in or on the uterus. These tumors may become quite large and cause severe abdominal pain and heavy periods. In some cases, they cause no sign or symptoms at all. These fibroids are typically benign or non-cancerous. The cause of the fibroid is unknown. The fibroids are also known by the following names, leomyomas, myomas, uterine myomas, fibromas. According to some researchers, almost 80% of women have them by the age of 50. However, most women didn't have any symptoms and may never know they have a fibroid. Now, there are many types of the fibroids and uh, the types of fibroid depend on its location and on the uterus. Location are on the uterus. Intermural fibroids, these are the most common types of fibroids. These types appear within the muscular wall of the uterus. Intermural fibroids may grow large and can stretch the uterus. Now there are subserosal fibroids. These fibroids form on the outside of the uterus which are called the outside of the uterus which is called serosa. They may develop large enough to make uterus appear bigger on one side. Then there are pedunculated fibroids. Subserosal tumors can develop a stem, a cylinder base that supports the tumor. These are known as pedunculated fibroids. Then there are submucosal fibroids. These types of tumors develop in the middle muscle layer or myometrium of the uterus. Submucosal tumors are uncommon as compared to other types. Now, as far as the cause of the fibroid, is concerned it is not certain why fibroids develop but several factors may influence their formation. Estrogen and progesterone are the hormones produced by the ovaries. They cause the uterine lining to regenerate during each menstrual cycle and may stimulate the growth of the fibroids. Then there is family history. Fibroid may run in the family. Presence of fibroid in mother, sister or grandmother may cause tendency to develop fibroids. Then there is a relationship between the fibroid and pregnancy. Pregnancy increases the production of estrogen and progesterone, so fibroids may develop and grow rapidly. You can find some important information in the description of this video. In this case, you can see a large number of fib small fibroids are seen along the posterior and, and interior wall of the uterus. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you do like this video. Please click the like button. Thanks.